Hi there, folks, welcome back to more PGA 202K21. So, today, another competition dropped, the publishing window opened, and it is for the National Treasure competition held over at TGC Tours. Now, I have a graphic for you guys to see if you don't know what the National Treasure competition all is. So, let's have a quick look at this now. Well, look at that. We have what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 14, 21, 28 courses at the top there. And then you've got additional designs by other designers down the bottom. So that's what? 6, 12, 18, 24, about 26 down there. So you're, you're talking almost what? Almost 60 courses, over 50 courses in this. Now, as you can see, uh, National Treasure. You've got Andorra, Vietnam, Morocco, India, Switzerland, Saudi Arabia, Maldives, Bermuda, Chile, Azerbaijan, Brazil, Mexico, Indonesia, uh, Kenya, Germany, Spain, Angola, Argentina, Greece, South Africa, Italy, Netherlands, Japan, Cuba, Bahrain, Turkey, Norway, and Russia. So that is the national treasure courses that are coming out. And as you can see, some absolutely fantastic designers in there as well. So the one we are going to be kicking off with is Rio Villegas, I think that's how you pronounce it, Villegas, Argentina, and it's by Heisenberg. Now Heisenberg, absolutely fantastic designer, one of my favorite designers out there. Uh, I've already got a couple of his um, courses on the channel. Uh, you've got New South Wales, Victoria Club, Peninsula, Kingswood, Royal Melbourne, that's his RCRs. Then you've got Chiang Mai, Thailand, uh, Cape Clements, Tasmania. Uh, you've got the Rio Villegas, which is this one here, Teeling Park. So give them a look. I know I've got New South Wales, Victoria Golf Club, I think, and Peninsula Kingswood, and I have the Chiang Mai Thailand. They're all by Heisenberg. So let's kick off this National Treasure Course, shall we? A competition. And we shall go on the Blue Tees, 7,238 yards. Uh, I'll just keep everything on default. So before we kick off, I will start reading out these put a nice big write-up over in TGC Tours. Again, I will put a link in the description for this as well. So let's get the old <coughs> sky cam up. Uh, while we'll have a look, little look around while I sort of read this out. Okay, he says, happy to kick this one out the door to get the ball rolling. Let's turn around and have a look at the clubhouse. It is fair to say I was more than happy getting Argentina in the draw, a beautiful landscape country with some great options for courses, locations, uh, options for course locations. After creating a couple of plots by the ocean, I decided to build the course further inland towards the Andes. Specifically, there's a town in the Patagonia region called Bariloche, Bariloche which has amazing lakes. Now, the, the, the problem with these uh, National Treasure courses is going to be pronouncing the actual courses. <laughs> Baraloch, or Baralosh, I think that's called, which has amazing lakes, rivers, beautiful mountains, and a resort golf course called, uh, here we go again, Lao Lao Resort, all of which was situated at the foothills of the Andes. I based much of my course on that region. Beautiful looking clubhouse. I love the steps he's done here. Again, lovely little bit of planting down here as well. You've got a couple of nice little benches down there as well. It's a beautiful sort of entrance into the clubhouse though. Look at that. Very nice. Let's just go up here. Now, I did have a quick look around before I actually started it. And look at this over here. You've got a little sort of hostel. Not a hostel, like a little sort of cabiny thing here you've got two infinity pools down here as well look at that beautiful done again and loving the steps going up the sides here then you've got the lights there for night time i mean can you imagine i mean look at this just sitting here look at the the mountains in the background it's absolutely beautiful Okay, what he's done, he's posted some pictures and stuff like that, so we won't go through there. What we'll do is we'll go back down to the next little bit. Okay, so the only way I could achieve the look I was aiming for with native Argentina plants was to use the Swiss steam and then block out any background pines across the entire plot. There's a few pines in the Bariloche, or Bariloche, 
so they definitely had to be taken out of my plot. I raised the plot a few hundred feet and built four ground mountains to block out the pines. I could then use a lot of low-lying plants like mesquites and palo verdes, which are native to Argentina. La La Resort also have some great colourful trees, like the aspens, so they've been sparingly included as well to provide some colour. Okay, on to the golf course. Given the beauty of the landscape, my main focus for the plot and routing was to provide some great long views while also maintaining a natural rugged look, as would have been there before the course was laid. Naturally, we're in for a mountainous region. We're in a mountainous region, so there's some elevation changes throughout, but nothing too extreme. It would have looked unnatural if there wasn't, in my opinion. You should hopefully find some really fun strategic holes, many of which will play significantly different in varying conditions. Very nice. I love the sort of background that's done here. What's this down here? As I said, I did have a quick jump in earlier just to get uh, the sky camera up, because as I said before, it usually takes a few seconds for it to kick in. So, But this looks really nice here. Lovely little sort of waterfalls just coming down here. I quite like that the water's sort of cascaded over the rocks quite slowly as well. That is really, really nice. All the way along here, look at that. That is beautifully done. Okay, had some fun building a tourist centre half or halfway house with lookouts in the mountain on the 9th degree and 10th tee. So we'll have a look at that, see if we can find them. You should also find some pretty cool high altitude bridges and a golf resort with everything you would need for a pretty epic holiday. Anyway, welcome to Rio Vallegas, Argentina. Hope you enjoy your stay. Yeah, I'm sure we will. Okay, right, as I said, lovely little waterfalls there. Uh, this must be the tourist centre here. Let's have a little look at this. We'll have a, another little zip around the course, see what else we can see, and then get on to the first tee and get this played. Again, lovely plant and all that outside there. And as you go, there's the entrance into the, the, the tourist centre, just coming down through the mountains there beautifully. Let's have a little pan around here. Look at the tee. Look at that for a tee shot, eh? Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, he's done a cracking job. <clears throat> okay. Ah, this must be the lookout tower. Ah, look, he's done a... Um, oh, what do you call them? Yeah, like a viewing tower, yeah. And you just, you just put the cameras here just as the, like the telescopes you get. That is pretty cool. Haha, <laughs> do you like that? These designers, some of the things they come out with, absolutely amazes you. Very nice. Oh, there's another one there. I oh, see so you've got one there, this side, looking down over that direction. And you've got one here as well. Let's have a look at this one. I mean, look at that for a view. Oh, I really like the way he's done this. That is pretty nice. Okay, got a nice big bridge over there. Now he did say there was a couple of high altitude bridges. Let's see if we can see them. That's not one down there because that's quite low. Must be around here somewhere. There's some cracking views on the course. I do like the way he's got these little shallow areas down here as well. And look at that, he's even got a little bit of planting down here in the shallow area. Look at that, that is lovely. Great terrain work, lovely planting. Okay, let's have a look over here. I do like the way he's got these sort of big rocks just jutting out there as well. So where are these high altitude bridges? I haven't seen it yet. Must be around here somewhere. 
Oh, I missed this little hut down here. This must be the, um, the pro shop. And you've got a couple of tennis courts over there as well. Yeah, very nice. Okay, let's have a little look around. Got to, ah, there it is over there. I can see it. Right, again, look at the view you got there. Absolutely beautiful. So what's this up here? You've got another sort of, like a sort of car park area. Where you can just come park your car up, take in the views. Very nice. And here we go. Here's one of these high altitude bridges. I like the way he's got the road following it all the way around there as well. Let's speed it up a little bit. Let's get onto the bridge. And let's have a quick look, shall we? Oh, I would crack my pants up there. I'm <laughs> not very good for heights. <laughs> Saying that, mind you, I went to, when I went to New York, I went up into the Empire State Building and things like that. That wasn't too bad, as long as there's a barrier there. Okay, as you can see, there is going to be some elevation changes. I can hear the wind. I don't think it's too high, I don't think. Hopefully not. So, anyway. Oh, and this down here as well. Look at this. So I say, when you get designers like the likes of Heisenberg, Sindrev, and all them type of designers, Arctic Fury and that as well, there's just so much to see on the courses. You can just sort of zip around for a good 20 minutes just looking at the courses. Lovely big bridge. Just spanning the water over there. Okay, right. I think we have seen enough. So let us go on to the first heat, and we shall get this party started, as they say. So here we go. Let me just zoom back up to the top on my other page. So Rio Villegas, Argentina. This is Heisenberg's entry into the National Treasure Competition. Okay, let's go. Hole one, 441 yards, 72 down. Let's even hit a nice one off the tee. Oh, that's slow. Yep, felt that straight away. I did aim a little bit over to the left, so it should be okay. And it looked quite a wide fairway. Can't believe I hit slow like that, especially with the, the amount of forgiveness on these clubs that I've got. Okay, a bit of a slope from left to right there. Five mile an hour wind. What have we got? 155, two down. Yeah, it should be okay. Same about here, I reckon. Okay, we get it on the perfect. I think that's going to be right of the pin, though. It's not too... Oh, it looks, looks like there's a little bit of a slope there. Yep, yeah, there is. It's just caught it, and it's just trickling down. So it's going to leave us a tough putt. Hopefully we'll pick up the par there. Big putt. Okay, what have we got? 46 feet. Let's just see... 46 feet and it's 16 inches up according to that, but it only says one foot there. So we shall go up to about here just to, to see. Right, let's try that. That should start turning back in. Oh, a little bit short. It would have been just right of the hole anyway, I think, there. So we shall take the part. Nice first hole. Okay, hole two, 500 yards. So we should be good just smacking the driver down here. That's a bit better. Just slightly into the fast air, but as you can see, look over the right-hand side there, I have got a massive sort of forgiveness bar on there. Because if you hit a red fast now, you can be in a, a seriously a lot of trouble. Which is a good thing, I think. Okay, 176.19 up. So that is playing around about 182-ish. 170. Yeah, I think we should be good going in there with a 7 iron. Oh, not for here slow though. Okay, so I need to speed the irons up just a touch. We'll get that. Take me a couple of holes to get it. Okay, I'm not going to use a chip shot. We shall go with the pitch shot. Bring it down to the sand wedge. 
bring it all the way back, bring it back to about there. Now see, here's the problem with the red fasts and your red slows, with your pitch shots. Now that's probably going to drop, there you go, see how much it dropped off there? Now we're going to be struggling here, right. Okay, right. It shouldn't turn too much though. Go on, get in, get in the save. Nice, so we get a par save there. So par par to start off with. Okay, third hole, par five. And because I'm using the shorter clubs with a higher forgiveness as well, because you've got clubs that will hit 298. These are only 281. So I am losing quite a bit of distance off of these. I'm going to aim just a little bit over here. Uh, what was the distance anyway? 570. I don't know if we were reached the green anyway, that wind with us. Ooh, slight slow as well. Should be okay though. It should make it across there. And it has. That's going to leave us a massive left to right slope though. Come on, keep coming down. Get on this sort of flattish area for me. Nope, it's going to stay that. Massive slope left to right. Three widths. We're going to aim way over here. Maybe just a little bit more that way. That should be okay. That should be good. Slightly into the fast, but with that slope. Oh yes, there we go. That should leave a nice pitch shot up on the green. Come on, let's see if we get a birdie. Right. That should be okay there. Come on. Oh, bloody hell. Another massive slope. Oh. Yeah, I can see this is this is where it's going to hurt people's in the short game with the drop-offs um, from the, the fasts and slows. But that wasn't too bad. Oh, but it's gone quite far past. So we're on for another save putt here. Come on, can we get it? Don't turn, don't turn. It's turning. Damn it. Yeah, you've seen it just caught the lip there as well. So that's going to be a bogey on a par 5. That is not good. That's just because of that short game with the pitch shot. So you're probably best off leaving yourself. Maybe a full shot into the greens now, I reckon. At 37 up. So I don't think we're going to get up here. So I think we're just going to aim over here. Oh, another slow. Right, we need to sort this out. It's going to kick. No, oh, I thought I was going to kick back in there. Right, nine iron. What have we got? One oh seven. I think we'll go with a full shot here. Sand wedge. Do you know what? I think. I don't know whether we've got another club here. Yeah, I think we've got one more club to bring it back just a touch. Okay, we get the perfect. That's not too bad actually. Pretty straight looking putt. Okay, right. This kind of takes that bogey off the card there. Takes us back down to evens. Okay, par three. Uh, we've got 209, 15 up. So it's playing around about 214. 199 with a four iron. That should be good enough, I think. Off you hit a slow though. And that's going to hit that big slope and roll down, I reckon. Yep. Right, come on. Let's see if we can get this. That's better. Get perfect. So we're there for another par. Okay, bogey, birdie, par. Okay, big elevation change down here, par five. Oh yes, there we go, that's what you want to hit. That sweet, sweet sound, hitting. 
Come on, catch the slope. There we go. And that's going to bound all the way down here. Add a good bit of extra distance on. It looks like we might be going over either a gorge or some water here. You can see the pin over to the left there. Okay, that should be okay, actually. Ooh. 234, 24, I think. The hybrid should make that because we're on a downhill slope as well. Oh, oh blue neck. Didn't go far into the red fast, but it went in far enough. Oh, I've got away with that. <laughs> oh, blue neck. Alright, pitch shot. Let's put it way past the pin here. Get it up there, make sure. Okay, bit perfect. Nice one. So we are on the green. Oh no, we're not. It's going to roll off at the back here. Yeah. Tell you what, we're not playing very well, are we? Right, that should be good for a nice little chip shot. Okay, we're going to pick up another par here. We shouldn't be picking up pars and bogeys on par fives, to be honest. But that was quite a big. Well, quite a bad shot on that par five there. Okay, over the water here. Two eighty-one to there. Three thirty-one. I think we want to just smack it on the side of the hill and let it try and trickle down. That'll do it. So it looks like we're hitting the drives not too bad now. Just gonna sort out the irons. And the pitch shots. Right. Slight slope, but it should be okay. This left is a little bit short. Okay, can we get this? Come on. Turn, turn. Yes, there we go. It gives us another birdie, so we're back. We're down into the... Minus one now. Okay, we should be able to clear this area here. I reckon. Ooh, another slope. But I did aim it quite a bit over to the left, so it should be okay. No, 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 no. I need the thick stuff. Okay, 76 to 83%. So we are going to go up a club here. Slight fast, but that could help us. Oh, just missed the pin. Right, let's have a look. 25 feet, 3 inches down. Is it staying out? Is it? Is it? Oh, <laughs> that was so close. So, so close. Tell you what, I probably should have took a, a thumbnail picture there. You had them little waterfalls in the background. Okay, par three again. This would be a nice, nice one to take a screenshot on with that kind of background there. Yeah, I might do that actually. Okay, 158. 17 down. So it's playing around about 152 ish. So let's go down to the. Yeah, let's go down to the pitching wedge here, I reckon. Okay, slight fast, but it should be good. Oh, yes, nice. Very nice. I tell you what, let me just grab a quick uh, thumbnail picture here to get that background in. Very nice. That'll do it. OK, 
Okay, not too bad since we've already started and plus some of our temple shots. So I'm quite happy with that, minus two so far. Right, now see this is where the shore of clubs. I don't reckon I'll move that, you know. With that wind, it's 20 down. If we hit a nice one. Oh, that should be okay. We hit a slight fast. And we did make it. Nice one. Getting brave in my old age. Okay, 97, 17 downs. It's playing 91. So let's go down to the... Ooh, yeah, let's go down to that. Right. Let me try and get this. Oh, slight slow. Come on, go on the green. Nope. Well, sure. Get my neck. Should be okay with a chip shot here, though. Okay, boss, come on. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, we've got another nice par save there. Let's hope we can pick up another couple of birdies on the way around. That's a cracking view off that tee, look at that. Oh, pitting, beautiful. Right down the centre of the fairway. Nice one, 310 yards. It's par four, it leaves us 192, 197 to the pin. So that's Play it to about there. Oh, again, slight slow. Is it going to make it though? Oh, it's just ran off to the side there. Oh, ho, ho, ho. okay, pitch shot. Oh, again, yep, there's the problem with the fast and slows. But there we go. Nice one. Nice pass save. Chip in. Need that. Yeah, we don't have to see that. It's only a short one. Oh, yeah, guys, if he's... Uh, do play my sides yet again I do apologize it was uh Han actually said he fixed the mistake and it hadn't been fixed well he thought he'd fixed it oh there you go look at that I hit 220 yards that's because of the fast red fast <sighs> look how much drop off you're getting that off that by my neck that is a lot and I'm all for it to be honest I think it's a good thing See, this is a par four as well. I can't. Oh, blue neck. Now, can I? What do you reckon? That slope there as well, though. Get up. Up, 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 up. Go on, get up. No, 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 no. Oh, that was so close. Right. Slight slow, but it should be good. Yep, that should give us another par putt here. Yeah, as I said, um, the society for the, the Belfry, he actually published it, went to play it, and the eighth hole on the second, third and fourth pin set, the pin was actually off the green. So he, he sorted it, republished it, and it did the exact same thing. So he had to do it again, republish it, and I think this one worked. So it's the third version of the course that he's now has out. And because of the way the calendar works on the society matches, because we already had I already put one up, which was the second course that he did. And um, we're going to have to wait till next week to play that. So it's going to start on 
Tuesday, I believe. So it's going to be Tuesday and Wednesday. I only did it for two days so it doesn't overlap with the event for next week. Yeah, it's pay. I mean, oh, I should be watching what I'm doing here. It's a shame because it's an absolutely cracking course. I remember playing uh, this Belfry course. That's why I wanted to get it on the this site. Right, come on. Oh yes, we get perfect. Nice one. Come on, roll up there. Get up, get up, get up, get up, up. Nope. Leaves a long putt for the birdie though. Okay, what have we got? Let's check this. 34. It says 7 inches down there, but 1 foot there. Let's play it about here. Oh, that's turned that. Oh, that's going to be short, I think. Oh, no, no. Oh. Right length as well. Just a little bit off. Again, I haven't scored at all on these par fives. Okay, another par three here. Okay, 233, 11 down. So it's playing around about, around about 230, 229. I'm going to go in there with a hybrid. So I think it should be good just hitting it. Tell you what, you know what I might do? I might just bring it in from the right here. Yeah, let's try that. Oh, slight slow. That should reach the green though, I think. Yes, we're on the green. Nice. Again, still gives us a chance at the putt. Oh, that's a tough one though. Ah, it's got a massive turn on it. Now, I know there is some kind of formula that people use. <laughs> count beads, count squares. Ah, yeah, screw that. I just, yeah, that looks all right. I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We'll take the bar. Okay, uphill here. 15th, par 4. That's a lovely looking hole as well. I love the sort of plant and the grasses going up there. Okay, slight fast. That's, that's kind of the shot you want. Just into the slight fast. Gives that tiny bit of extra distance. And it doesn't sort of deviate offline too much as well. Okay, 114, 33 up. So it's playing around about 125. Yeah, should be good with that. With that wind, that wind's going to help us out. Okay, nice, we got it perfect. That should be good. A little bit right of the pin now. Ooh, a little bit short as well. Uh oh, is there a slope there? Stop ball. Okay, looks like it's going to move just a slight touch left to right here. Nice, pick up another birdie. What's that put us on now? Minus three. Oh. oh, I do like the little short par fours here. All right, here we go. 129.40 down. So that's playing what? Uh, run about 115. I'll make that. So let's bring it back to about here. Okay, we've got perfect. Should be good. Oh, it's going to be a little bit left of the pin though. And again, sure. Wow. Come on, let's see if we can get this. Just turn, turn. Oh, it didn't turn. Damn it. Right, we need to get the par. Let's see if we get another par safe yet. Oh, it's just trickled past on the right hand side that oh that's another bogey that takes us down to minus two so what have we got 17th hole oh that's a toughie look at that we're gonna we're gonna go for it though we'll just smack them across that oh slight fast so that's gonna be pretty now if that hits and kicks to the right that should be good oh blimey we just made that we just made that. 
And that should be all right. A nice little chip sharp there. Right, we should pick up the birdie here, hopefully. Nice. Back to minus three. Okay, 18th, par five. Now let's see if we can do a bit of damage here. Let's hopefully not screw this one up. I want to go down here because it's better. I'll tell you what, what though. 567, 72 up. We are not going to reach the green in two, so I might as well go for the, the wider part of the fairway here. Ah, oh, nice. We hit a perfect and final hole. So we're left on an upslope here as well though, which again will take some distance off. So we're going to play over here. And we get perfect again. Perfect, perfect. Nice one. And again we're on an upslope, right to left lie as well. Ooh, it's a tough one. I tell you what, that is great view. That's a sort of cracking clubhouse he's done there. Very nice. Okay, 79, 11 up, so it's playing around about 80. 83, I'd say, around about. So let's play, come on, me get a nice pitch shot here. Yeah? Oh, slight slow. Again, it's left us quite a bit short. Let me just grab one little screenshot here. Just in case that other one doesn't look too good. Ah, look at that. The clubhouse not in there. Yeah, that looks nice. Right, come on. Can we get this? What we got? 31 feet, one foot up. It does say seven inches though, so let's just play for almost that. Oh, right way again, but didn't move it over far enough. So there you go guys, that is Heisenberg Rio Villegas and that is his entry into the National Treasure competition. And there's a lot of good courses that are going to be coming out. It actually feels like there's a brand new competition every week now. <laughs> there's that many good courses coming out. So I hope you enjoyed that guys. I mean, I didn't play too well, but yeah, it doesn't really matter to hear about the courses. So I really, really enjoyed that. So good luck in the competition. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you again next time. Don't forget, stay safe.